Hey guys, okay, so I have here some Brilliant Blue um, powdered colorant in Lake variety and in dye. Um, they're both FDNC. Um, the Lake, I'll show you first. Okay, this is, this is your Brilliant Blue Lake powder. Okay, you can't see how nicely blue this is because the lighting in here is funny, but it's really nice. It's a really nice blue. Okay, now the thing with lakes is it's the colorant that has been like binded or whatever with, I think it's like metallic salts or something, which basically makes the colorant oil dispersible and not water soluble. So I'm going to show you what happens here when we just chuck it in like a nice warm bath. Okay, so here we go. So it's floating down, it looks pretty good. You still get some colouring. It's not like totally, you know, insoluble. So you will get some colouring, but you can see the powders that are left behind on the bottom. If I can focus, um, that's because it's been binded with the you know, metallic salts or whatever they use to make it insoluble. Okay, now what I have here is the same color, brilliant blue, again, FDMC, blue number one. This is not lakes, however, this is regular powdered dye. So this one's actually craft grade. It's what they use in kindergartens and stuff to make paint. So it's not as fine, but it's just as good. Um, exactly the same colorant, just um, a different variety of it. So this is water soluble, okay? So I'm gonna show you what happens when you add the water soluble dye into the bath. Check it out. Okay, I love this. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? Love it. So there we have the water soluble dye powdered colorant and the oil dispersible water insoluble lake version of the same color. So you can see the difference there. Now the reason people like these in their bath bombs is because um, we tend to use so many nice oils in our bath bombs and our bath bomb mix is supposed to be dry so what you'll find is when you add your lake colorant with your oils and mix it through your powders you'll instantly get a bright blue color in your bath bomb because it will you know disperse with the oils and it will color your um, powder mix which is brilliant See, even if you mix it around, look, I'm just gonna make my fingers blue now because I'm touching it. Ah, blue! Um, so you're still, you're still gonna have all this powder on the bottom, whereas there won't be any in here. There's gonna be no powder here. It will still color me if I stick my hand in there. Um, the problem with the water soluble colors, of course, is you can mix them into your bath bomb powders um, and then add your oils make your bath bomb you just won't get that bright blue bath bomb like you do with these because of the oils you may find it speckly or it just looks really pale until you chuck the bath bomb in the bath and that's when it will go blue um so you really need if you want your actual bath bomb to be bright brightly colored with the water soluble colorants you need some kind of a water in your bath bomb um Otherwise, the colour just won't go through. You'll get the effect in the bathtub, but looking at your bath bomb, it just won't look very blue. Um, whereas these, yeah, you can colour your bath bomb straight away with these because of the oils. But in saying that, they're not totally oil soluble. They're just oil dispersible. So if you mix these with oils as well, you'll still find that it will colour the oil like it does with the water, but you'll still have these little bits of um, powder in the bottom that don't totally dissolve. So this will color the water really nicely, but it's 
never going to fully actually dissolve. Whereas your water soluble version is lovely. And of course, I mean, if you go sticking your fingers in it, you will end up a smurf, but it shouldn't stay in your bathtub unless you leave it sitting in the bath forever. Um, as long as you rinse your tub down, that's fine. But see, there's all the powders from the lakes. But there you go. That's a look at um, how the lakes and the and the um, dyes actually are different. So there you go. I hope that helped in some way. I don't know. Maybe it didn't. Who knows? See you later.